When you think of the military, what comes to mind? Perhaps images like these. We are all grateful for the friends, family, and people we don't even know who hear the call of duty and rise to the occasion with their sacrifice. Fewer than 1% of Americans serve in the military, and yet most of us probably know someone who has. While these mainstream images are more common, there's a piece missing. Someone out of focus or not in the picture at all. Military spouses. My husband, John, served 14 years in the United States Navy. He's what they call a Mustang. He enlisted at age 17 and later rejoined the military as an officer. I met him during his first year of medical school as he prepared for more time in service as a military physician. At the time, I had just been accepted to a PhD program with the goal of becoming a tenure track professor. I knew that life with someone in the military would change my career trajectory, but I had no idea how much. During the next 12 years, we moved nine times. Just by the time we'd get settled somewhere, we'd pick up and move again. I took stock of all of my skills, Googled how to become a freelance writer, taught myself, and launched my own remote business. As we moved, I was lucky. My career followed me each time. But along the way, I met many military spouses who were not so lucky and needed access to resources to make their career possible. I was one of hundreds of thousands of military spouses connected to the US Armed Forces. Estimates state that as many as 28% are unemployed and 40% or more are underemployed. Moving every one to three years for their spouse's service makes it difficult to maintain a career. And not every base is created equal with employment opportunities. Many spouses have to pause, rethink, or exit their career entirely after marrying someone in the military. Here's a snapshot of military spouses from the Departments of Labor and Defense. 92% of them are women. 89% have some college education. Only 53% of them participate in the labor force, compared with 73% of the general population and more than half of military spouses report their stress level as high. One in three military spouses has had their partner deployed in the last 12 months. And of those spouses who work part-time, 16% of them say, it's because I could only find part-time work. The challenges facing military spouses with regard to employment are staggering. Many of them have gaps in their resume because they took time out of the workforce, or their resume has a series of jobs they were overqualified for, but took because it's all they could find. Some spouses are discriminated against, even though that shouldn't happen. An employer or hiring manager thinks, well, this person will just leave anyways, or openly asks during an interview, is your spouse active duty? As if this prohibits someone from doing a great job. When they move abroad, spouses are impacted by international agreements that limit or entirely restrict them from working. Military spouses have a unique need for a flexible schedule. Trainings, deployments, and the shifting military work schedule are entirely out of their control. And yet they have incredible skills. They're agile, creative, intelligent, driven, they're organized, they're great communicators, and they're used to supporting people in high-pressure jobs. Here's how this pans out for military spouses. Their career takes a back seat. They're helping someone else build savings, income, and retirement options, while potentially sacrificing that safety net for themselves. Many military spouses earn less than their civilian counterparts, on average $12,000 less per year. That adds up to over $190,000 in lost earnings over a 20-year career. And that's to say nothing of things like retirement matching benefits that they lose out on during that time as well. To learn more about their experiences, I asked 100 military spouses, how has your career been impacted by marrying someone in the military? Here are some of their responses. 
Essentially, I walked away from my career. I have to start over and establish myself each move. Many spouses constantly start off at the bottom rung of an organization and don't stay there long enough to move up. I say all the time how ready I am to work again, but where? Doing what? With what skills? And only to move again in a year? It feels like I'm staring up a mountain and I've only trained for a walk. I'm stigmatized. I lost my sense of identity. It's limiting. It's so discouraging each time we start over. I am always compromising my dreams. You learn to be second place. But the news isn't all bad. Remote work and entrepreneurship are slowly changing the game for military spouses. 47% of spouses want to work for themselves or already do. And 87% of those who made the leap into self-employment say it was the right choice for their family because of the freedom and flexibility it provides. Working for me was instrumental in helping to keep career stability. It opened so many doors for me, including working with over 450 freelance cl writing clients all over the world. It's also the inspiration for why I founded my nonprofit, Operation Freelance, where we provide free virtual training to military spouses and caregivers of disabled veterans to learn how to start their own businesses as freelancers, as copywriters, virtual assistants, proofreaders, voiceover artists, web designers, developers, and so much more. Remote work is opening doors too. More companies are offering remote jobs overall, but increasing numbers of companies are also recruiting specifically from the military spouse community or are allowing spouses to take their in-person roles remote. These two things are working together to solve the problem of military spouse employment. But the next time you thank a veteran for their service, here are some things you can do to extend that appreciation to the entire family. Volunteer to help a military spouse with a mock job interview or a resume review. Make an introduction to someone in your network. If you're an employer, commit to hiring military spouses and buying from military spouse vendors. Create internship and mentorship programs that give military spouses a foot in the door. Look beyond the resume and a possible moving schedule. There's an incredible workforce waiting to get to work for you. Military spouses and military families are here to support you and all of our freedoms. It's time that we step up to support the next generation of military spouses, building thriving and sustainable careers that will follow them to their next duty station. So the next time you thank someone for their service, remember the family behind them too. Military families are here for you, and this is one important way we can give back to them. Thank you.